Hello again, Nick here. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects CS4 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to render your footage in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to make a new composition. So I'm just going to drag my intro that I imported to Adobe After Effects to my new composition icon. Drop it. And let's just say I'm done editing this. It's completely uh, done. I want to render it out. So uh, to do this, go to Composition at the top of your screen. And then Add to Render Queue. And you will see this new tab appear here. And this is a render queue. So what it means is you can add multiple compositions to this queue and it will render it out one by one automatically. Um, so before I show you my render settings, I'm going to show you something else because it's pretty important. Uh, go back to your composition. And as you can see, there's this little work area space here. You can select certain type, uh, certain parts of your video. Uh, when you render something you want to make sure that this is completely over your composition because otherwise it will just render a part of your video you selected and we don't want that so just make sure it's completely over your composition okay back to the render queue the uh, output to is just simply where you want to save your uh, video we're going to edit the output module it's always on lossless but if you click lossless you can edit this uh, don't select videos for windows because it's pretty good but the file size will be a lot higher than with with quicktime movie so just select quicktime movie um, go to format options mine is in dutch i don't know why but i'll tell you what i'm selecting so as compression take png don't take animation but take, PN take png um, just leave this on 30 the depth should be millions of colors plus and filter best and press OK um, leave this like it is because we we set it here so it's okay and you may you have to make sure that audio output is enabled because otherwise there will be no audio just leave it on the settings it is press OK and now we can just click a render here but you will notice that when you render something with Adobe After Effects Adobe After Effects is actually made for rendering small files then use that file you just rendered in another editing program so if you render something large with Adobe After Effects you will notice that it might take a long time and there's not much we can do about it but I'll just give you some tips if you hold shift on your keyboard then go to edit preferences general there's a little secret menu here if you don't hold shift this one won't show up so I always enable this but don't enable this because it says danger and I don't want I don't want to risk this so I just leave it disabled but I will enable the first one and just press OK now let's just press render here the little button and it'll start rendering out now if you you can see that it just shows a preview frame by frame what you're rendering uh, if you press caps lock and you put caps lock on it'll stop previewing and it will shorten your render time because it doesn't have to show previews every second so that's also a good thing uh, so when you're rendering something and you don't want to see what it's rendering just press caps lock and it'll it'll be alright and it will take less time so estimated time remaining is two minutes for like 26 seconds of video the file size will be pretty big uh, but you'll probably use it in, in another program so then you can re-render it like I do with Sony Vegas um, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, stay tuned for my next one it'll be out soon today or tomorrow I'm not sure uh, probably about Sony Vegas also render settings in Sony Vegas full HD small file size thanks for watching see ya guys